And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. And I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal, and they take on Fulham. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. The defenders will certainly have done their homework, Lee, and on that basis must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today, a brace in his last match? And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Count Leno gets the nod in goal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Alexandre Lacazette. And this is the team Fulham have selected. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4 5 1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support, not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. Thomas. Jacker with it. Martin Odegaard. Well, pressing really high. And they've won possession again. Bayerine. Wonderful block. Not the pass he had in mind. He continues his run. Granite Jacker. Very comfortable when in possession. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Over the touchline for a throw in. Martin Odegaard. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Foul there, free kick awarded. He succeeds in clearing it. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Lacazette. Granite Jacka. Dangerous looking through ball. Xhaka and here's Partey still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it Granite Xhaka Thomas now it's opening up for them It's with Onguisa. Onguisa. Arsenal will have to throw it back in play. Applying vigorous pressure. Now can they create something? And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? 
Had his pocket picked, rightly punished, schoolboy stuff. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. So the match has restarted. 1 0 oh, here. Goal. Number 9, Alexander Mitchell. Thomas. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Fulham, stats for possession, not too good. But they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But strong play here on the shielding front. Will he play it in? This looks promising. Loftus-Cheek. Reed, Mitrovic, just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance, and lining it up. Quick defensive thinking, Granit Xhaka. Xhaka. Kieran Tierney. It's with Erdegaard. Thomas. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Lacazette. And Lacazette. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Good tackle. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game late. Well, there can be space found out there. We've seen that, but he just can't seem to free himself from the defenders right now. His team need him to find something if they're going to turn this around. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Harrison Reed. Loftus Cheek. Reed now. Anderson. Adarabayo. Now, what can they do from here? Reed foiling them effectively. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Excellent ball over the top. Not high quality defending. Lukman. Loftus cheek. Mitrovic. There to win it back. Granit Xhaka. It's with Erdogan. Thomas. Partey. Real danger. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And after the cross, a tremendous block. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, I think the players realise what they owe this coach. Lovely sight to see them celebrating with him. Well, Derek, as we see it again, it's a big mistake. You try to teach youngsters not to get caught in possession and be aware of what's around you. He has no clue, and he pays the price.
Well, you can see how happy the manager is. They've shown real grit to get back into this. Time for a change then. So, a level contest. 1-1. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Harrison Reed, and played the pass well. Alert defending. Well, Arsenal had total domination as far as possession is concerned, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. Obama Yang. Bayerine still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it Pepe really vital interception here breaking at pace and a throw in it's going to be well they are committed to making the substitution here coming onto the pitch number 10 Tom Kearney Thomas and it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes Kieran Tierney going well Martin Odegaard well when you sit off like this you invite pressure and with the teams locked together Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner Terrific block there. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Pepe. It's with Erdogan. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, he played that one really well. Arsenal have given it away. And only two minutes remaining here. Onguisa. Well, they still have designs on the win. Kearney. Reid now. Onguisa. Well, clattered away. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes.